You've been quiet? I know. Just thinking. But I said we'd talk, didn't I? I... I heard a voice. After we saved that man. It told me I was touched by the Ancients and that I should seek it out. Seek her out. Do you think this voice has answers about your magic? She must! What if she's like me? Maybe that's why only I heard her. She said to look to those closest to the stone to locate her. Meaning? The children of the stone. Dwarves. Not surfacers like me, but the ones from the Deep Roads. Almost ten years ago, a Shaper from Orzammar bonded with a Titan. Titans. Ancients. You think it's related? It would make sense, wouldn't it? Volta. That was the Shaper's name. Maybe there are more like her down there. You're going to drag me down to the Deep Roads? I will absolutely drag you with me wherever I look for answers. I'll check with my contacts in Orzammar. The minute they give me a lead, we'll go. It's a date. <laughs> a date? I mean, uh, a pre-arranged time and place for a specific activity. Unless you wanted it to be a date date? <laughs> I, um, shouldn't get ahead of myself. Who knows if my contacts will have anything to say. Right, right. Let me know. <laughs> Oh, Rook! Good to see you. Irulan and Strife sent word. Some of the artifacts we have in storage are acting up. They need a hand to make sure they stay calmed. And don't rip a hole in reality. Anyways, we can go whenever you're ready. Rook, Ilario sent word. He's got intel on Zara. He wants to meet up. Fancy a trip to Treviso? Sounds like fun. The Shadow Dragons have a hideout in Docktown. We should check in, see if there's news on the Venatori. Already? They work fast. And with that relic case off their hands, they'll work even faster. Meet you in Docktown. Mostly a survival thing. Accidentally release a couple demons or rile up the local wildlife with misdirected magic a few times and you learn what not to do. Oh. Okay, we all know why we're here, right? Make sure that the artifacts we calmed stay calmed. We know. This should be easy. Yanarl, you and Strife take the first set. Irlin and Hamuel take the second. Rook and I will handle the rest. You pick me? I'm so flattered. Well, of course, I know you. I mean, I don't know, know you yet, not that. Anyway. <laughs> Just lead the way and I'll follow. All right. Now we're going to check the crystal alignment, fade connection, and the Lyrium reserves. Has alignment ever been a problem? Even once? It's not worth the risk. Even if it's only off by a little bit, we know what happens. Happened once. And we can't even be sure the crystal alignment was why. Look, I know what you're saying, but maybe if we... We check it. Every. Single. Time. I I'm sorry. You're right. I just... Sorry. Forget it. Are you okay, Bellara? I'm fine. It's my fault, really. I'm sorry, Bellara. Let's go. We want to get back quickly. Of course. 
See you soon. So what was that all about? What was what all about? Attention. Seemed pretty heavy. I it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Here we are. The artifact vault. Or one of them, at least. Looks like it's seen better days. Repairing reality doesn't leave a lot of time for repairing walls. At least until someone falls through a hole in the floor. Random example. Okay. See those two power crystals? The ones that aren't glowing? There should be a couple of replacements, charged ones, in the room. If you grab them, I'll make sure the artifact stays calmed. And there we go. So it's calmed now. Should be, and it'll stay. Stay that way for a while. And in the meantime, it won't tear open reality. Okay, let's keep going. Sure. Sounds good. So, it's nice out at least. You know, ignoring that reality itself is paper thin here. Hard to ignore that. Right. here and put it in the socket. So what did this artifact do? Before it was calmed, I mean. It would bring flaming rocks down all around it, every 30 minutes. And for some reason, you'd hear chanting while it did it. Not sure what that was about. <sighs> okay, reserves replaced, which means there. Everything's looking good. Thank you, by the way for helping out. You have better things to do, I know. I'm happy to help. Besides, you're fun to spend time with. Really? Oh, I mean, that's so nice. I like spending time with you too. Okay, one more to go. Not too far now. Thank you for giving me this chance to help people. You were already kind of doing that as a veil jumper. Sort of, but it was never as big, you know? As grand? Helping you? Well, we're helping lots of people everywhere. I like that. So how do you calm an artifact anyway? You have to cut it off from its power source, but carefully. Some of them like to try and blow up when you do it. Found the other crystal. Great, slot it in. There. Done. You okay? Oh, I'm fine. Or will be. It takes a lot out of you, all those little magic bits. Not hard, just exhausting. 
but it needs to be done and done right. Yeah, keeping reality from falling apart is important, but other veil jumpers can do this. Why not let them? Because maybe then I can make up for it. Make up for what? For not being good enough when it counted? I'm sorry, I can't. Not right now. Laura, I am, uh... My brother. What? Back there, you asked me why I did this. Why I put myself out here. For him. For my brother. Wherever he is. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought it up. It's okay. Well, no, it, it's not okay. But not because of you. Syrian. That was his name. We were the same, you know? In a lot of ways. We wanted to learn everything. About Elvenon, the magic, the people. All of it. We heard about the Nodis Nerthalen, figured it had the answers, or some of them. Then Arlathan started going wrong. I joined the Veil Jumpers to help people, and he kept looking, kept putting himself in danger. It should have been safe. I know, I checked that artifact three times. I guess it should have been four. Artifacts started pulsing. He was too close. I couldn't find my way in. They called him a hero. Wanted to make a statue. They thought it would make it all okay. I'm sorry. Doesn't feel like enough. It's something. Even if it doesn't fix it. Syrian, he... he felt responsible for our people, for me, my little brother. He thought he needed to take care of me. He called me Bora Shivan, hummingbird in Elven, said it was because I could never sit still. But he loved me for it, said it kept him thinking, trying to keep up. And he helped me, too. He kept me focused, anchored. And now he's gone. Because I wasn't good enough. It's not your fault. You have to know that. Then why does it feel like it was? You lost someone important. Guilt's part of that. But if you don't learn to get past it, You'll drown. I wish it were that easy. I've tried. Told myself I couldn't have done anything, and my head believes it. But my heart doesn't. So I try to make up for it. Honor him. Learn about our people. Find the truth. Maybe when I do, I'll feel it. Feel what? That he forgives me. And that I deserve it. We should head back. Rook? Thank you. For being here.
Another of those Fen Harel altars. <gasps> this is where Tainor was headed. This blight here. We didn't mention that. Could be new. Blight spreads fast. That relic ended up lighting Oros. Of course. Right. he managed to destroy the relic. Taenor and Gus must be out here somewhere. We'll keep looking. I'm so sorry, Taenor. You didn't deserve this. One more veil jumper to find. The tracker, Gus. Let's hope we can still save him. What's that there? By those bushes? A collar. It says... Gus. Wait. The tracker Taenor talked about was a Nug. Oris's companion Nug. Let's get you home, little one. I hope Taenor is all right. I haven't seen her in days. We have no defense against that. Tis true. The gods' workings project elements of the worst kind of blood magic. That's Gus. I wondered where he was. Enough to be wary of Haven't seen Oros or Taenor in a while either. By mortals. I'm sorry. Likely leads to disaster. Gus was the only one I could by save. Gods. Oh, creators have mercy. Poor Gus. Do you think he understands? I... I suppose I'll look after him now. Oros wouldn't want him to be lonely. Thank you, Rook. Fewer people than I expected. Let's find Asher. Asher? The Viper. He prefers to be called Asher in private. Said I could tell you. Trouble in the Unvalinim. Darkspawn. But those tunnels are safe passage for... I know. We've had to close that entrance. We can help. We recently had to deal with Blight. Those darkspawn have to be destroyed before they get out into the city. If you get through, signal the all clear at the hidden door. <sighs> Raining again. This is troubling. Darkspawn in the city. And in one of the worst... Talk to Lorelei. She's the boss. The Anvalanim should have an entrance this way. The passage is hidden by a wall. Why are they so close to the shop? 
Carving you mentioned. That's the one. There's a switch behind the serpent's head on the left. Got it. It's dark down here, isn't it? Don't like the sound of that. Can't get through here. We've got to clear the obstacle somehow. I did it. We can get through now. I got smite on me. Let's kill those Shadow Dragon rats so I can leave this place. Shadow Dragon agents, they're down here with us. Get them. And let them run for reinforcements. Reinforcements. We can't let them reach the Shadow Dragon hideout. Even more Venatori. We have to take out the leaders. Another boil somewhere. The gods take their cue. Bring our wills together. Those dark sword and Venatori were on the same side. I know. And that worries me. At least that seems to be the last of them. It should be safe for the shadows to use the entrance again. Let's find it and tell them to open up. There it is, a hidden entrance back into the shop. It's Rook. All clear down here. Nice work. I'll get the door. Good that you're still standing. Best let Asher know. How did the Venatori even know about the shop? Isn't it supposed to be secret? We help the people in Docktown. They know where we are. Someone might have talked about the shop. People spreading rumors, that's easy to handle. But Darkspawn? That's different. You really saved our skins there, Rook. Those Darkspawn could have destroyed us. It wasn't just Darkspawn. Venatori were there too, and they weren't fighting each other. How is that possible? Darkspawn attack all living things. Darkspawn are blighted. If the gods control the blight, they might control the Darkspawn. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. The Venatori could have magic that protects them. Or worse, they could be allied somehow. If you're looking for answers about the Venatori, I may have a lead. A warehouse. On the other side of the city, lots of cult activity. And some of them were spotted headed towards a shop. Could be a coincidence, or it could be something more. It's worth a look. Agreed. Rook? Let's go. One day you'll move. Nice to see the Vipers still making waves around the city. He made his name freeing slaves and supporting their rebellions. So, the Viper's real name is Asher? A middle name. He calls himself Viper for first impressions. Or so he says. What do you mean? Asher just doesn't have the same impact, does it? Watch out! 
The Venatori have posted guards. Keep moving before more of them come crawling out. A Tory. It's all the Venatori guarding the place. Right. Here's our way in. Great. The Venatoria up to something. Time to break it up. Stop them, then we figure it out. Venatori and Darkspawn under their control. Stop them. It's all of the Darkspawn and Venatori. Let's search the place and figure out what they were doing. This note. Knight Commander Lenos of the Minrathus Templars is being paid off by Venatori. Damn it. Look at this. Draining into the tunnels below the city, perhaps. One more way the Venatori released blight into our tunnels. I'll tell the other shadows. Gods gave the Venatori a relic they can use to control Darkspawn. This explains the Darkspawn we keep finding in the catacombs. At least they don't know where the Shadow Dragons are, exactly. <laughs> Did you find anything in there? The Risen Gods taught the Venatori how to control Darkspawn. Explains why the hideout was attacked. We found documents from the Knight Commander. I knew he was crooked. I didn't think he was actually a Venatori. Let's head back to the shop. We'll discuss things there. We managed to catch the stragglers fleeing the warehouse. They'll think twice before coming back here. What else did you find? The Venatori serve Elganan and Gilanane like we thought. They gave the cult control over Darkspawn. Great. Sounds like the Venatori are gonna be even more trouble. We can handle anything the Venatori throw at us. It's good that you're back. You know more about the Risen Gods than anyone. Not surprising, since you technically set them loose in the first place. Now, now, let's not dwell on past mistakes. 
The cult has its hooks deep in the city. Venatory backers sit in the magisterium chambers, and now they wield power given to them by the gods. We'll have to get along if there's any chance of surviving this. May, what are you doing here? You promised you'd lay low. Tried it, didn't much care for it. Nice to meet you. I'm Rook. There's trouble in Minrathis, Venatori, and Risen Gods. Rook's helping us with it. Mavaris is one of the Shadow Dragon leaders. Mavaris Talani, formerly Magister Mavaris Talani, at your service. Wait, formally? My enemies conspired to have my Magisterium seat stripped for me. We can talk about it later, if you want. My concerns feel petty when stacked against risen gods. The Shadow Dragons have a lot to discuss, but you, Rook, are expected at the Swan. Me? The Cobbled Swan? Why? The First Warden is here to speak with you. The First Warden? Let's hope we actually get some help with the Blight. Come back when you can. I think we'll need your help again. Tory spot somewhere uptown. I know someone in the area who's keeping what. Find him in the library. Say you're looking for Ferdinand Genetivi's book on Orlay. Ferdinand Geni what? He's a Ferelden scholar. Virtually a Do Templars really not have authority over mages into Vinter? What happens? <laughs> 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 Nice shot. Where were we? Do Templars really not have authority over mages in Tevinter? What happens if there's blood magic? What do they do? Depends on the Templar. Depends on who's bought their loyalty. What do you do when the authorities can't be trusted to do the right thing? That's how I keep busy. The Magisterium I am Jowen Glastrum, First Warden and Supreme Commander of Weishaupt. I received word of your team's request for Grey Warden assistance after an incursion of the Blight at Demeter's Crossing. You're a Shadow Dragon, I hear. A criminal organization of Tevinter insurgents. I was not surprised to learn that you are wanted for numerous offenses, including theft, murder, and wanton destruction of property. Theft? You mean rescuing enslaved people. Murder? You mean the venatory cultists who enslaved those people. And destruction of property? Just felt like it. Fine. All I want to know is how a Minrathus crook unleashed the Blight. I think unleashed is a little strong. It was an unfortunate side effect. The Blight was a side effect? Yes, of stopping the Dreadwolf Elven God of Lies from destroying the Vale. We did stop him, by the way. You're welcome. I did not come here to listen to fairy tales. I am here because of the Blight. We haven't even gotten to the real fairy tale parts yet. When we stopped Solus, two elven gods escaped from where he'd imprisoned them. Elganarn and Gilanane. And they're not just evil. They're blighted. The point is that the gods are making the Blight worse. The Meta's crossing was just the start. That's why we need the Grey Wardens. I suspected more politicking from the remnants of the Inquisition. I see now that I was wrong. I am really glad to hear that. 
It is clear that whatever you did to unleash the Blight has corrupted your already weak mind. Okay, wait. You will be taken to Weishaupt and placed under heavy guard until the danger you caused by unleashing the Blight passes. Are you kidding me? I assure you, I am deadly serious. I don't have time to sit here and stroke your ego. You need to shut up and listen. The threat is real. The gods are coming, and they're bringing the Blight with them. Let me tell you something about the Blight. It is evil, it is implacable, and above all, it is predictable. The Blight has not changed in over a thousand years. The Grey Wardens will defeat it. As they always do. And we will do so without you causing confusion with your deranged conspiracy theories. I suggest you come along quietly. Adamant Fortress 941, Dragon. The Grey Wardens attempted to raise an army of demons. Hardly the models of good judgment yourselves, are you? Everyone knows Warden Commander Clarell acted alone at Adamant Fortress. Acted alone, you say? Imagine if everyone were to see the letter I discovered where you authorize her actions. I wonder how that might complicate the narrative. Are you prepared to risk the security of the Grey Wardens for this deluded boy? You may be surprised to learn that I care very little about the security of the Grey Wardens. Stay away from the Blight and do not pester the Grey Wardens with any more of your nonsense. He seems upset. Was it something I said? That was close. Wasn't looking forward to being dragged off to a Grey Warden dungeon. Who should I be thanking for the assist? Magister Dorian Parvis, at your service. A mutual friend thought you might require some support. Mavaris Talani? Of the Shadow Dragons? The very same. So now what? The first Warden tried to have me locked up. I need the Wardens on my side. <laughs> Jowen Glastrum is not the Order. He's more politician than Warden. No Grey Warden worth the name sits in a Menrathus lounge sipping wine. You need the Wardens? Look for the ones out there fighting the Blight. In the meantime, the Shadow Dragons will keep a close watch on the Venatori. Good luck. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Only the Veil stood between us and a world of blighted darkness. But on this side, the gods could only tap a trickle. They had to turn that trickle into a flood. They sure could have used Solus's dagger to rip open the Fade. But some foolish mortal had taken it. So... They'd have to create a dagger of their own. Drowning the world in blight was just a matter of time. I need to talk to Varric. There you are. I haven't seen much of you lately. I was getting worried. Everything all right? Wait, that dagger. I've seen it before. Solus was using it at the ritual site. No, uh, before that. Shit, it can't be. Look at it, Rook. I have. Plenty, ever since it hurt Harding. 
Remember that story I told you about me and Hawk, Meredith and Orsino? How the trouble started in Kirkwall? On our expedition to the Deep Roads, that's what we found. That's what my brother tried to kill us for. An idol made of red lyrium. That sang a song which drove anyone who heard it mad. Are you sure it's the same thing? Oh, look at it. It's changed, but it's the same size. Same ring at the top. Not to mention, it's pure lyrium. No one, not even the dwarves in Orzammar, work pure lyrium like that. It's too dangerous. If that's true, if this dagger is the red lyrium idol from your story, how did Solus cleanse it of the blight? I, I have no idea. I can't believe you found it. Oh, hey, Rook. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You seem a little more comfortable with your new abilities. How are you feeling? Things are weird, but I'm adjusting, I think. That's not what I came in here for, though. All right, Harding. What's on your mind? So, the Wardens. I know some. A married couple Varric and I met while we were tracking Solus. I'd almost forgot about that. I really am getting too old for this shit. You think they'll talk to us? After the first Warden and everything? It's worth a try? I can write them and hope. Okay. Let's see who's in our corner. Normally, my advice on befriending abominations would be don't. In this case, just keep an eye on him. This was with my things. It looks like your handwriting. I didn't read it. Well, a couple of words. I thought it might be one of mine. I don't even know how it got there. It's those wisps. I need more wards. Oh, I can help with that. I started this. I'll deal with it. I don't know. I think they're cute. So cute. They didn't steal your notes. Maybe they like you. Do you follow the Chantry? Uh, the Pendant. I noticed it's Andrastian. I barely keep the holidays. It's from an old job. Oh, which one? Maybe I read about it in a Tementer paper. I'm barely in the papers. Oh, but when you are, it's on the edge of something exciting. What about that one story with the demon, the diamond, and the deadbeat magister. Oh, they mentioned you twice. That was a hit piece. That's awful. It was against the magister. I was the footnote. Still. The job got done. Of course, it would have gone smoother, but the client ratted me out to the demon. What? It's always something. Funny how that didn't make the print. Tell me you read the rest of the paper, too. Oh, yes. Sometimes they have these stories. Serials. They're thrilling. Except they come out in pieces. I only see a few papers a year. I never know how the stories end. Trust me, Valara. I've read these serials before. Who's the second most innocent character? Ten Gold says they're the killer. What about the most innocent? I don't know. They die. What? All right, Val. You get me the name of your serial, I'll try and track the ending. Just don't say we didn't warn you. I'd like to go back anyway. Spend time in Dark Town, pick up gossip. One company? Why not? Ready to go when you are. <laughs> 